Hey guys, today we have an HP DeskJet 4155E printer. Um, and if you can see, it's not showing all colors. Basically missing yellow and part of black. You see just a little bit of a yellow line right here. And um, to resolve that issue, this printer basically was just standing without use for a while, maybe a few months. And that's probably why it's doing that. If you have the same issue, it could be a few things. Of course, it could be a cartridge going empty. Um, but we have levels here um, that show that the ink, ink levels are not uh, empty. So as you can see, the color cartridge is full. And um, black ink cartridge is two-thirds full. So we're pretty good on the levels there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just go through what needs to be done in order to get this printer back and running and printing 100%. So let's just go ahead and pull the ink cartridge out. We're going to remove, so we're going to work on both the black and the color ink cartridge because on color we see that there's um, yellow missing and black. We can see that there's about half of it missing there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove the ink cartridges. So just put it down. It's HP ink cartridges, they're not refilled or anything, so that's another indicator that you just need to quickly work on these, do what we are about to do, and you should be good at printing. All right, in order for us to um, get our test print to print 100%, this issue is usually because the ink nozzles here, they are partially clogged due to no use, they dried up or so, even though they are parked over a rubber uh, seal, that's not always enough. Um, so you can see here there's the tricolor cartridge and this is the black one. So um, in order to clean that, I usually use just the window cleaner such as Windex and mix it half and half with hot water so you have a warm solution. I'm going to use paper towel and some q-tips. You can use either or. And uh, first I'm just going to um, try to clean it without soaking the ink cartridges in there. Um, and I think we should be able to get our results. You should get a stamp like this here. Sometimes just a few taps and you should be good. In any case, you can always go with a Q-tip or some napkin and just go ahead, dip it into the solution and clean it, give it some more, let the solution stay there. And just while it's cleaning that, uh, as we know, uh, that's how cleaning solutions work a lot of times, just letting it stand for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and um, dip our black cartridge in here and try to wipe the area. Be very gentle. These parts are really fragile. So just tap, don't really scrub on it or anything like that. Just like that. So we are already getting a hunt like a good print on the on the napkin. And that's a good sign already. But we're just gonna go ahead and put some more. I'm gonna use the black one here and just kind of rub on the nozzles for a little bit and then let the solution stay there. We're gonna go back to our color one and kind of go back and forth. Also a good thing to do is just go ahead and shake the cartridge a few times. Just kind of like to move the ink in there. Same here. So do a test print like this here looks good Let's put some more solution on there and here And just kind of give it about five minutes in order for this to work and then after that we'll test it um, 
also it's not a bad idea to um, if you're having like worse print than this here you can just uh, make about let's see here let me make it even so in a container make about quarter inch or an eighth of an inch of solution like depth of solution so just the bottom of the cartridge is soaked if you get some water on here it's no big deal just wipe it clean and dry before putting it back into the printer but you can always leave the ink cartridge out like this here for 10 minutes or so um, and that'll let the cartridge clean in the solution so and then before you put it into the printer just kind of like tap it down like that okay going to just dry this be careful with the contact area here that's something that should be clean sometimes the issue with the printer or print head is because there's ink in here and people would replace and put a new cartridge in and it still would be there because the contact area is still dirty and that needs to be cleaned inside the printer so in our case the contact area was all clean we just had dry nozzles so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and try printing now we're gonna put the ink cartridges back into the printer and do a test run so with this printer my best uh, way of opening the door is just by going on these here even though we see this this is kind of harder to open just use these tabs in order to open the cartridge door and we're going to put the cartridges back in so let me just double check which one goes where all right the black goes on the right that and we'll put the color one on the left these are the contact areas that I'm talking about if there's ink on them make sure you wipe it down before you put the new cartridge in okay those are in let's close our door all right our cartridges are in we can see the levels we're going to test that uh, self-test report we're going to hold the power button then press the X button, release X, and then release power button. And a few seconds later, we should hear the printer start to make noises to print the, um, the test page. Usually it takes about five seconds, while I was talking. So on some earlier models, it was kind of like right away. Uh, this one, and look at that, wow. So we actually did it. If you're not satisfied with this, you can continue cleaning. I, I would go ahead and continue cleaning the black cartridge. You can see there are some mi missing spots there. But anyway, this is so much better. You can actually read what it says. Um, let me show you the old one. So you could compare it. This is what we had. Sorry, there's I shouldn't have used it, you know, worked on, on top of it. And this is what it looks like now. So this is, see, there's no yellow here at all. There's yellow, all colors. Um, the only colors before that were just magenta and cyan at 100%. Now we have black, we have other, you can see there's missing lines here. For example, line 53 is missing, line uh, 71 is not even on this old page. Here we have everything. Printed another one. You can see that's already missing less than the previous so didn't even do like cleaning or anything it just so this is the second page you see first then the second and then we have the third between these here nothing was done it was just um i just decided to go ahead and print the second page so this is the t test page i showed it i'm going to do another separate video on how to just print a self te a self test report um, shows everything shows the page count total 624 on this printer uh, serial number and stuff like that um, so pretty cool I'm glad we were able to get that done and we, if that was the issue with your printer I'm very happy to help 
and I hope we did. So please don't forget to like, share this video, subscribe to our channel, and have a wonderful day. Thanks.